Hi, everybody. This is Tamara from Moogly, and I am hopefully coming to you live on both Facebook and YouTube. So since we are live, that means I need to hit a couple buttons in front of me so that I can make sure to see all your comments and questions as they come in. So if you'll bear with me for just a moment, go ahead and jump on into the chat and tell us where you are tuning in from. We always love to see that. I've got Facebook up in front of me. Let's see if I can get the YouTube. Hmm. YouTube always makes it a little bit harder to find here. Let me refresh my page and see if I can get on in here. Oh, it's not live on YouTube yet is what I'm hearing. So is there just a little delay? Okay. Well, it's not going to be live on YouTube today, it looks like, unless we can get it to go later. But we will definitely put it up there later because we are recording it. So... Let's go ahead and get to it. Thank you all so much for joining me today. We are here to just chat and relax and talk about what's been going on on Moogly for the past couple weeks. It has been a very busy week for me. Um, I just got back Sunday night. I spent last week at Jimmy Bean's Wool, um, actually sp specifically up at Lake Tahoe at the Crochet at the Lake event with the Crochet Crowd and Marley Bird, and it was just a fantastic time. Um, I met so many wonderful people. It was probably hands down one of the best teaching experiences I've ever had, and it was just a really incredibly fun retreat to be at. I am uh, still a little tired. I feel like I just haven't quite stopped sleeping to recover, um, but it was an absolute blast. It was a gorgeous location. We got very lucky. Um, Lake Tahoe this time of year, as I found out, um, it wouldn't be unusual for them to get snow, but we we lucked out. We had like 70 degrees. We were able to stand out on the beach. There were bears on the beach at one point. It was just a really fascinating and wonderful trip. So I want to say they are already planning 2024 Crochet Crowd Jimmy Beans Wool Retreat. It won't be in the same location. The hotel we were at this year is going to be undergoing renova renovations next year. So they have to find a new location. So they don't know where it's going to be yet. They don't know when. They just know it's going to happen. Here's the deal. This is a very limited attendance event. This year, it was limited to literally 100 people. It sold out, from what I'm told, in three minutes. So if you want to go, absolutely, you need to make sure that you get on the Jimmy Beans Wool Crochet mailing list. They're going to send out notifications. Make sure you know, you're following the crochet crowd everywhere they are. I'll announce it, but like I said, in three minutes, you know, it... it I barely get a chance to write up the Facebook you know, post before they're gone. So make sure that you are following Jimmy Beans Wool, that you're subscribed to their email list if you want to go for the next one, because it is an absolute blast. It was such a treat. Um, it was really great being able to sit down. We had just groups of 20 people at a time. So you really got to know everybody, and we really got to dive into some really fantastic topics. This year, we covered everything. There was borders. I did a, a class on bags. There was a class on Tunisian. It was just a whole lot of fun. So if you want to go for next year, make sure you're signed up to those mailing lists because it will go fast, um, and it's not something you want to miss. So get signed up for that. Um, also at Jimmy Beans Wool, while I was there, I had a new pattern come out um, on Jimmy Beans Wool website. It's called the Brown Sugar Cocoon. I don't have it with me because, you know, um, a lot of times when you design something for a company like that, you have to mail it to them because, of course, they put it on a beautiful model and a beautiful location out at Lake Tahoe, took gorgeous photos. I'm not a photographer. I'm a crocheter, so I'm glad they got those beautiful photos. Um, so definitely go check that out on Jimmy Bean's Wool. Um, it's also up on my Ravelry page, so that'll take you there if you need to find it. Um, they have a kit where you can get the yarn to make the pattern as well, but the pattern itself is free, so you can download the pattern for free and then choose whether or not you want to go ahead and get the yarn there. It is made with a really lovely yarn called Cascade Ecological Wool. Um, so it is a wool blend yarn. If you're not into wool, you can definitely find a great substitute um, in any color, of course, that you like to make it. So definitely check it out. And yes, um, Chris, Lake Tahoe is amazing. Tahoe, Tahoe was gorgeous. Um, different than what I expected. I don't know what I expected, but it was it's much more like, I don't know, it's much more like in the mountains, but a lake. I don't know. It's just a fantastic place. If you get the chance to go, I definitely recommend it. Um, so, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. If you want to get signed up for next year, I do recommend that you go. In the meantime, 
The Brown Sugar Cocoon is free on the Jimmy Beans Well website, along with a lot of other fantastic patterns. I've got to say, Jimmy Beans is putting a really big push out right now to increase their crochet, which we love, right? So we want to encourage that. They've come out with a whole new fantastic crochet collection for fall. So like I say, I'm very excited to have a pattern in that. And there's lots of other fantastic patterns as well. And if you live in the Reno area, Reno, Lake Tahoe, anywhere around there, make sure to stop by the Jimmy Beans Wool showroom and shop there in Reno. Um, not only can you check out Oh, my God. So many rooms of gorgeous, gorgeous yarns. Um, it is a real treat to shop there, let me tell you. But they also have the samples from the collection. So you can try the cocoon on right there. The samples in, I think, a small medium. Um, but it's a cocoon, so you kind of get an idea. And, of course, it does come in all the different sizes as well. So if you are in the Reno area and you get a chance to check that out, definitely do. Um, otherwise, online, you can just go to Jimmy Bean's Wool, look for that fall collection, brown sugar cocoon, or you can go to my Ravelry and find it there. So that has been my past week. Very fun. Um, but while I was gone, of course, lots of fantastic posts and before that as well. So let's go over some of those. We always have our most recent crochet along square. And this one is so reversible. I have to stop and look. This one's the right side. <laughs> I had to really stop and look at it further for a second. So this is a beautiful spiraling square by Andy Graves of Mama's Two Hands. Now, you may have recognized that name. Andy designed a square for us earlier this year as well. Um, unfortunately, I did have one person who had to drop out of the crochet along this year due to some personal reasons. So Andy was kind enough to step up and had another square ready for us to go. You can see there's some great crossed stitches there. And of course, we have these spirals in the middle. So I only use three colors. She used four colors on hers. Um, I'm seeing lots of great other ones in the group. You can definitely have a lot of fun with this pattern. And like I say, it is pretty darn reversible. I had to stop and look at it for a second to see which one was the right side versus the wrong side. But it is, it is a lot of fun. And you can definitely have a lot of fun with color on these. And it's a really great way to learn working in spirals. Crocheting in spirals is a whole different... I mean, it's made of the same stitches. You'll recognize all that. But it really is sort of a different, it's a different way of doing things. It's you're going to have multiple active loops. You want to use your stitch markers. Definitely follow her instructions on the stitch markers to the letter. Um, it will help you so, so, so much. If you don't have stitch markers, um, it's an investment I do recommend you make for your crocheting. But otherwise, you would want to look for scraps of yarn in a couple different colors, um, some safety pins if you have them. It's just going to make working this square a whole lot easier. So highly recommend you use your stitch markers. Then, yes, this one's the right side. Like I say, very reversible. Gotta love that. So really lovely square. So thank you so much to Andy. This one, of course, was made with Red Heart with Love, but there are lots of wonderful worsted weight yarns out there. So whatever you're making your blanket in should work. So then I also came out with a brand new pattern, the Sprinkle Cupcake Backpack right here. So here you can see I've kind of got it pulled open. The cherry on top, literally, <laughs> is just sewn right on the front. I wanted to make that clear in the pattern as well because it is a drawstring backpack, this style, so that when you pull on these drawstrings, it closes up the top to create the straps. You might have seen these. Um, this style of backpack is like, you know, a promotional type backpack you see in a lot of different places, but it keeps the cherry nice lined up right there on the front. So this pattern is made with Red Heart Super Saver, which is, you know, going to stand up to what kids dish out. It's going to make it wear really well, make it so you can throw it in the washer and dryer when you need to. Um, I used regular Red Heart Super Saver for the bottom of our cupcake. You can see I use the same color here for the back. These are linked treble crochet stitches. So that is a really fun stitch to make a really solid fabric without having to work in tiny little short stitches like half double crochet or single crochet. Let me open this up and show you guys what happens. Look at that. You can't, I can't get my hand through there. This is a really beautifully solid fabric, but they're treble crochets, which I think makes them go a whole lot faster. Then up here in the front, of course, we've got our brand new Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Speckle, a brand new yarn that I just happen to have a giveaway going for right now on Moogly. So I use the white speckle here to create the look of, well, a speckles, a sprinkles on top of a cupcake. So we make the front from the bottom up, starting with our solid color. I picked out a gold that kind of matched one of our sprinkles here. We've got some post stitches to create the look of a cupcake liner. Then we've got our frosting. 
and our cherry on top. And I just used some more of the yellow to make a really nice solid back. And then of course we've got our two strings. Now the string length here is good for, I'd say, depending on the child, of course, every kids come in different sizes too, just like grownups. I would say probably um, early elementary school level. Past that, you might want longer strings. Um, and certainly for an adult, you'd want longer strings, but you can definitely measure those to the individual because of course, just like kids, we all come in different sizes too. So right now it's geared more towards a child size, but you could definitely make those strings longer for a larger child for sure, or an adult, whatever length works best for you. It is just a really easy pattern. It's great for beginners because it's still in two plain rectangles. We don't have to worry about stitch counts or shaping at all, but we do have some really interesting stitches to keep everybody entertained. So that is the Sprinkle Cupcake Backpack. It is up free now on mooglyblog.com with a PDF available on Ravelry. And I'll be filming the tutorial later this afternoon to go up later this week. So there will be a backpack too. And yes, it would make a cute project bag. I didn't line this one, but you could absolutely line it if you want to. Um, you know, and just to have a lot of fun, um, however you want to use it, right? Halloween's coming up. Probably work that into a costume or two, too. So uh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you guys like that one. And like I say, the tutorial's coming soon. Um, now, in the meantime, we've had a couple more tutorials came out. Um, we did a live with the Vampire Fangs for crochet squish squishes. So that is up on the site now. If you want to turn any of your squishes into vampires for spooky season, there are some teeth available to do that. Um, it was something I considered adding to the bat, but decided, you know what, this could be cute on all of them. And I think I like it on the pig best. So you'll have to check that out. Um, we also had the frog squish had its tutorial. Where'd he go? I brought him over here. This guy right here now has his own tutorial up. Now I want to make take a note. Something I've noticed as I've been buying the balls that I fill these with over the years, I feel like the manufacturer has started making them just a hair bigger. They're still officially 10 inches, but I feel like there's more beads in there and it doesn't squish quite as much. So if you um, are finding the same thing, if you're finding that your balls are a little too big for the crochet, um, it's not you. I'm genuinely finding I've gone back to some of my older ones and held the balls up <laughs> that I filled them with to each other. And they have gotten just a little bit bigger. It's just a manufacturer difference that unfortunately, of course, I have no control over. So if you find that to be the case as well, absolutely you can still fill these with fiber fill or you can do what I like to do and is open up one of the seams in the ball just a little bit and let some of the filling out and then sew it back up. That is another alternative as well. Um, in the meantime, I will keep looking for other great alternatives to fill these guys with. Um, but I just wanted to let you know for if anybody's out there getting frustrated, I get it. They are definitely, they're definitely more full than they used to be. If I, um, you know, if it were up to me, right? <laughs> but alas, so there we have it. Thank you, guys. Oh, good. I'm glad, get, glad you're getting ready to make your first squish. It's a lot of fun. Like I say, if you find the ball a little too big, don't be afraid to open it up and let some of that filling out. I just recommend you have a bag ready to get it because it can be a little bit messy with all those little beads. All right, so that has happened. Um, also, things that have gone up on Moogly. We have the Julie Yeager Designer Showcase. If you're not familiar with Julie's designs, definitely check it out. Um, she is one of those people, when I started the crochet along, I knew right away I wanted her squares in there. She's a fantastic designer, um, so definitely check that out. We've got a collection of her free patterns up on Moogly right now. Um, I did 13 tips for working with textured yarns as a Yarn Inspirations Lunch and Learn. So that is now up on the blog as well. Um, and there's the video and I've also written them out. So if you're not a video person, you can go get my simple list of tips there as well. And then, of course, we talked about it last time, the Joanne Fall Stitch Along. That's happening all of this month of October 2023. And it's happening on joanne.com. So I can't put the um, videos or the actual pattern up on my site. All I can do is direct you to those on Joanne. That said, I hear you. They are difficult to find. Joanne did not make the buttons super easy to find for this crochet along. It's not entirely intuitive what to hit to get to the different spots. So I made a special video. I put it up on TikTok and on Instagram Reels yesterday. Um, I tried linking to it a few other places. Not everybody wants to show videos, um, not every social media. So TikTok and Instagram, it's up there right now. I've shared the link um, elsewhere. And I've also been able to embed the video in the blog post on Moogly. So if you're having trouble 
finding the different parts of the crochet along, finding the written instructions for week one, two, three, or four, or the video tutorials, do go back to that post on Moogly, which I've linked in today's post with all the links. Go back to that post, and I've embedded the video there to try and help everybody find those links. It looks a little different. I recorded it on my phone. I did a screen record. So it'll look a little different off if you're on your computer, but it does work the same. It's just those buttons are in a slightly different place. Hopefully it'll make a lot of sense if you go see it. So hi, everybody. Hi, Dawn. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Um, so yeah, anybody who wants to follow on along with that Joanne Fall Stitch Along, if you're having trouble figuring out where to press to get the information, go back to that post on Moogly. I've got a video that lays it all out for you right there. All right. So that's the post, but there's also giveaways. We've got three giveaways going on right now. A um, couple of them I've talked about before. We've got, of course, our new Super Saver Jumbo Speckle. Make sure I get that right. Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Speckle giveaway. It comes in several great colors. You saw the white speckle in the cupcake backpack. This is the blue speckle. Yep, blue speckle. That's exactly what it's called, light blue speckle. There's a darker blue as well. But this one is a lot of fun. And that means, of course, you can make the cupcake in whatever color you like. I also um, have a cupcake bag I wanted to mention. I designed it years ago in a whole different yarn. But for those who have little ones who like the cupcake, sprinkle cupcake backpack, but are maybe a little too young for the strings, look for the cupcake handbag or the cupcake purse on Moogly. And you can use this yarn and make a matching bag. Um, without the strings. That's going to be safe for the little ones three and under because they love to have little bags to carry their things into. Um, so this is one giveaway happening right now on Moogly Blog. And then we have the Crochet Cute Forest Friends giveaway, the newest book by Sarah Zimmerman of Repeat Crafter Me, who we love. She's fantastic. We went through that one a little bit on a previous live. So we have that giveaway going on right now. And our newest giveaway is this one right here, the Babe Crochet Hat Templates. I do these giveaways several times a year. There may or may not be one more to go yet this year after this one, but this is such a fantastic tool. And these are right in time for the holidays. If you do hat crocheting, these tools are really just completely invaluable. Um, they, you start from the top down making your hat. Let me go ahead and pull just one up here. You can see they come in different sizes for different size hats. So you use the little chart to figure out which size template you need. Then let's say here, this is the set template for size 10. You start right there with your magic circle or your ring, or however you start your hat from the top down. If you're doing a uh, ponytail hat, you'd wanna line up your hole basically right over here. You work until your flat circle matches this curve. And then you start working even until the length of the hat matches, matches the length of the template. And you are going to get a perfect fitting hat every time. I use these when I design my hats now. Absolutely such a time saver. Saves me doing so much math and figuring things out. I can just pull out the templates and make sure the pattern's going to work for the different sizes. Like I say, it comes with a little chart that tells you what sizes and what ages usually fit each template. And it just makes hat making so much easier. And the great thing is, let's see if you can, maybe you can hear it. This is a nice like plastic. These aren't paper. These aren't cardboard. This set will last you one set for a lifetime. Um, I have a couple sets because I keep in a couple different places, but this really is such a great cro crochet tool and one that you genuinely only have to get once. So I do have links to purchase these on my site, of course, along with the giveaway, but we are giving away three sets of these right now on Moogly. So, and this one's open worldwide because the inventor is over in France. So we get to ship these all around the world. So definitely enter to win those on Moogly. If you don't want to take your chances, go ahead and purchase a set. You're create, you'd be supporting a great woman-owned, woman-run woman company. One woman who really came up with this idea and followed her dream. So it's a great thing to support either way. So those are the Babe Fay hat templates. Babe crochet hat templates, that is. It's right there. So that is all the giveaways going on right now. I did mention again that Joanne Stitch Along is going on right now. I know some people were like, is it even out yet? It is out. Follow the video. You'll find all the pieces. Here's another sneak peek of the second blanket. The first one I don't have. That one went to Mikey over at the Crochet Crowd. This is the one I did the tutorial for. So you can check that out. It is made with beautiful Bernat Blanket Perfect Phasing. But there's also a version using the Bernat um, plush 
yarn. So if you prefer that version, you can use that. This is Perfect Phasing, which personally I'm in love with. I can't wait to create a project of my own with this one. So this is a really pretty yarn. Keep an eye out for this one if you haven't seen it yet. It's a Burnett blanket you know and love, but look at that. Perfect, perfect gradient ombre. These aren't different colors tied together. This is one perfectly, perfectly changing strand. Absolutely in love with this. So that is out right now. So let's now talk about what's coming up in the future. And I got to give you a sneak peek. I was trying to throw in a sneak peek. So coming up in November, it's time to talk about November already. November 8th, I will be back with another live just like this one with another crochet and chat. November 15th, I will be going live on the Yarn Inspirations Facebook page at 11 a.m. Central to demonstrate another pattern, pattern to be decided when we get a little closer. November 21st, I'll be back on Facebook and YouTube again, hopefully, for another live here. And then finally, on November 30th, I will be live on YouTube at noon. And this is a special request, how to turn your moogly crochet along squares into throw pillows. So maybe you've made some extra squares. Maybe you decided to make a slightly smaller blanket. And you've got a couple left over. Maybe there were a couple of squares that you really wanted to make, but you weren't interested in the rest of the crochet along. We can turn those into beautiful throw pillows for your home. So we'll be doing that live on November 30th. I had to double check my date there, November 30th on YouTube at 12 noon, which will be after our last crochet along square comes out. Believe it or not, there are only three squares left for this year. We've gone all the way through 21, so we've just got 22. We'll be out, I believe, tomorrow. Um, and then 23 and 24 will come out next month. Remember, the last square comes out the Wednesday before American Thanksgiving. So you have a chance, hopefully, to print it out, download it, bring it with you on any trips you have to make over that long holiday weekend. And then, of course, we've got the whole month of December to finish up our blanket, seam it, put it together, and get it ready for the holidays. And do not fear, we will be back in 2024 for another Moogly Crochet Along. 24 more squares, 24 more beautiful patterns, and I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't picked my new colors for 2024 yet, so you're not behind if you haven't either. Um, it's definitely something to think about. I always find by the end of one year, I'm getting a little tired of my colors and I'm ready for something new. So I'm definitely excited to go through the um, Facebook group and use some of your squares as inspiration for mine. I definitely, definitely always do that because you guys have so many beautiful colors in that group and it's just so fun seeing all the squares you've made. So let's get to our sneak peek, which usually means an upcoming giveaway down the line. This one's a little bit down the line. But I've got the copy of it now. Colorful Baby Crochet by Laura Strutt. This one is published by Seiko Books. C-I-C-O Books. This is a brand new book out there for crochet. And it is all about baby items. And it has 35 patterns in here, which is a huge amount of patterns to find in one book. And you can see on the back, there's a little peek at some of the things inside. We've got a mobile, it looks like a bonnet, an outfit, some toys, blankets, and sweaters. So let's pop it open and see what it looks like inside. Now the first thing I notice, of course, it's paperback, but it's a really nice, really nice good quality paperback here with some heavy pages. Really nice glossy paper in here. How cute is that dress? That's so pretty. So it looks like, now it says they are London and New York. So one of the things I always like to look for when I first open a crochet book is right away I start looking at some of the stitches. And here on the very first one that I open to, Slip Up Booties, I see round one starts with two half double crochets. That tells me right away this book is in U.S. terms because in the UK, it would be a half treble crochet, HTC. So HTC tells me this book's going to be in American terms, so no worries there. You can follow your US terms. You don't have to do any translating. But we can look inside here and see it's got a great table of contents up front, but then it just jumps straight into a quick introduction and then right into the patterns. There's not a big section up front, not a whole lot of big talky stuff. We've got clothes and accessories for chapter one. I love that little hat. That's so much fun. My guys would have loved that when they were young. And then let's see what we can find in here. Lots of really cute things. I'm gonna try and turn it around here so you can see there's rompers, toys. 
Let me turn around this way. There is a peek inside. There's that hat. There's that beautiful lace dress. Oh, and a matching floral headband. I hadn't seen that one. She's so cute. A head warmer. Love that. A star garland. So cute for the nursery. Matching blanket, it looks like there. Some baskets. A llama wall hanging. This would have been perfect. We actually had a llama-themed um, baby shower for my sister when she was having hers. So I wish I'd seen this before then. I would have made it. Oh my gosh, there's a toadstool pillow. I hadn't spotted that one yet. Granny square blanket. And it looks like lots of toy patterns here too. So this is just a really fun, really fun book. If you've got baby showers coming up, babies, you know, in your family coming, this would be a really great resource. And with 35 patterns, you could definitely make something different for every baby shower you're going to in the foreseeable future. I'm just looking at the back to see, you know, you never know if there's that big tutorial section. And we have a little bit of techniques here. Not a lot. They didn't spend a whole lot of pages on basically the learn how to crochet stuff. But these days, you know, I'd say that's a little extraneous for most of us anyway. We can get our stuff online for, in for instructions for the actual stitches. But there's still some really good information back here. Some general instructions for your stitches. And then I want to see if there's anything else to mention here. There's some good good information here on joining. There's a join as you go granny square method, so that's really nice. And how to sew your seam and buttons and do a bit of cross stitch detailing, so that's fun. And then, yeah, and that's it. In the back, we have an index to help you find some more things quickly. But it is pretty much straightforward, right bang on into the patterns. So it looks like these are written instructions. We don't have any charts here, but lots of really great photos. So if you've got babies to crochet for, definitely check this one out. And I have a sneaking feeling you'll see this later on the year on Moogly as well. So yay, that is another fun book that you can check out. I know I love going through every new crochet book that comes out and just seeing what's out there and what people are making. And this one, this one seems like a really great resource for crocheting for little ones. So check that one out, of course, as well as Cute Crochet, Cute Forest Friends. You know, something something for mom to use and something for them to play with later. I think these would be a great combo, too. So that is what's new. Um, if you were following along, I did just finish a Lunch and Learn on your inspirations right before this. So that will be going up on the blog next month as well with that tutorial. So if you saw that and you want to see it again, don't worry. I'll have that up on Moogly later. Um, but yeah, for now, I think that's it for today. I've got lots to do. I've got a couple more projects to make here yet this year for you guys. Definitely at least four more patterns to come, if not more. Um, and yeah, back to work for me. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I hope you have a fun, safe and happy weekend planned. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Um, and if you guys are crocheting for Halloween, post those pictures to Moogly. We love to see them too. I'd love to see what you guys are crocheting this holiday season. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody.